Hey, what's going on everybody? Power Stroke Jude here. I hope all my dudes are having a great night. Today I'm going to bring to you guys a tool haul. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, most of the stuff's relatively new. There is one item that I've had for a while. I've just never opened it because I haven't had to open it. You know, I've got plenty of what I'm going to show you, but I wanted to show it. I've never shown it on a video. You know, at least put something else into the video because it's not, it's not a huge, huge, huge haul. So that being said, let me turn this camera around and we'll get started. I hope you guys enjoy this. Give me one second. All right, guys, let's kick this thing off. First thing I picked up was something you guys have seen in many videos. I'm sure you've seen me using it as well as I've opened packages or whatever. But I picked up this pocket knife off the Mack truck. Um, I already had it, but on my kid's birthday, I took him to Legoland. I had it in my pocket because I've always got it in my pocket. Um, it's just like second nature to carry it there. And I did not want to walk back to the car when I when I saw the metal detectors. I was like, son of a gun, we were at Legoland. I was like, man. So I told security, I said, hey, man, can I just give you this? And they're like, yeah, that's no problem. I said, can I pick it up on the way out? They're like, nah. I mean, you can go and walk it back to your car. But like I said, that decision was already made. So needless to say, I needed another one. But this has been my everyday carry for a while. It's a pretty cool knife. I really like it. Um, but this time, I did not just get this one. Before, I bought this by itself from home depot and the knife cost me about 10 bucks i think 10 or 12 bucks this time i bought it in a two pack but the two pack came with this knife it's not the same knife and you guys saw how easily that one was open and i don't know if i just cut weak fingers but this one is not that easy to open this one's got a little safety you got to hold and ah oh, spring loaded <laughs> but that one does open it's not too bad i kind of like this knife a little bit better if it wasn't for how hard it is to open you guys check up take a look at them let me see hold them flat in my hand let me know in the comments which, which one you guys like more which one which one would you guys use as your everyday carry i've been using the top one all right cool this two pack off the mat truck uh here i have the part number i can show you it is if that'll focus, DWHT10617. Um, that's that's the part number off the Mac truck. All right. Next thing I want to show you guys is also no, actually this is not also off the Mac truck. The next thing, next, I will show you one more thing off the Mac truck, but it's not yet. I picked up this from JD Tico. This is a long universal it, they're spline driven they go from size 8 to size 19 really helpful man when you're in a spot that you you know having a long extension is just something cool you don't have to, have to worry about your your universal coming off i like these i wanted them in impact i really did but they didn't have those anymore so i said ah what the heck i'm gonna go ahead and pick them up this is the 16 right here it also comes with because every single one of these, I mean, it's 3 8 drive, but on top of being a 3 8 drive, every single one of them has a, uh, so you can make this a T-handle, you know, which is cool. That helps. That, that's pretty cool. I mean, we'll see how, how often that gets used, but this is pretty new. I got this, by the way, shout out JD Tico, man. Much love, Nick. Um, I've had it a few weeks now. I've used the 10, the 13, and the 12 a bunch. I mean, those are common sizes that I'm mean, kind of the reason I got it. Um, but I know this is going to be really, really helpful, you know, as I, in the future. All right. I would have shown the next thing off of the Mack truck next after the knives, but they were buried. So let me show them to you now. I picked up these two mini pry bar, little mini, mini pry bar set. You know, once straight shank you know once angled i've got this complete set well not the complete set this almost makes it complete i've got the four piece set plus i've got the 36 inch one i need the 48 i think that's the next size up um and then my set's complete man but man these i really 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 like the mac pry bars um I've been using these a lot. I mean, these are the ones I've had for a long time. You can see how old these are. But 
I like those two, but these naturals, man, they're just, I just dig them. I really, really do. I have the new Snap-on set as well, the one with the mushroom tip. Yeah, I just said mushroom tip on camera. <laughs> Anyways, the one with the mushroom tip, there it is again. But anyways, um, but I don't like those. I've had those for over a year, and I have, and I just don't like them. I don't like how they feel. Not comfortable. So, um, uh, wait, give me one second, guys. Right. Yeah, I just don't like how those feel in my hand. You know, they, they feel slippery when they get wet. You know, it's just not, 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 I don't like them. So, anyways. But to get back on point, the part number for the Mac Pry Bars, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm going to try to do this from now on. I know people like to know what they're getting. Oh, there it is. Part number is, if you can't read it, I will read it out loud, PBS2G. I'm assuming the G is for green because they also have it in O and R, probably for orange and red. And if anybody is interested, I know it's probably hard to find. Because I know they went out of business. But this is the number. Oh, there it is. For the monster set. MST9112. I dig these, man. I really like them. I'd recommend them. They got a cool little case to carry them in. You can have a compartment for hardware or something else. See right now? I'm putting my knives and my pry bars in there. <laughs> All right, next, oh, keep hitting the camera, sorry. Next thing I did not pick up recently, I've had for a while, but I'll show it now, is this Monster Mobile Tools screwdriver set. 16 piece screwdriver set, mind you. Um, I've got three, two, snap-on sets i've got some vessels i've got <laughs> tons of screwdrivers I mean, i've got junk ones from from harbor freight and from o'reilly's i've got these i've got oem tools i've got some sks i just like screwdrivers but um needless to say you know why i picked these up but that being said i don't know man i don't know if i like this trilobe this trilobe is not 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 super comfortable if you just grab it from the fat part and you know, so you can get some torque, it's all right. But if you have a bigger hand, you know, you're right around this spot where it gets thinner. It's not, it's just not comfortable. But that was part of my, not haul. That's something I've had, but I'm putting it in the haul just so I can show you guys. All right, the last thing I picked up, I picked up um, from Gabe Felix off the cornwall truck. Uh I needed a new set, so uh, can you guys see that? <laughs> I bought me a set of jack stands. There is another one on the ground. I'm not going to pick it up. It looks exactly like this one. <laughs> um, these were on sale. Um, pretty good deal. I th think the Daytonas that everyone likes from Harbor Freight are like 45 or 50 bucks. I got those off the Cornwall truck for, for uh, I think, $52. One of the things that's pretty cool about these is if you look at the feet, let me pull this out. If you look at the feet, they've got, you know, flat little feet. Not, it's not, you're not digging to the asphalt or the, or the, whatever it is you're, you're setting on. You've got something so it makes it, you know, I don't know what you'd call that. It's just, doesn't dig in you're not going to sink as much into like asphalt because of those feet i really like those that feature but uh, well guys i guess that's about it um i picked up a magnet off the mac truck but i left it at work so i can't show that <laughs> um i'll give you guys one last thing unfortunately My battery's dead. So, let me see, I think I have another battery. Uh, I don't know where, I, it's not here. Oh well, <laughs> sorry. This I picked up off of Roscoe in the Snap-on truck. Probably had it over a month now. 
but I'm going to do a review on this. I've like, you've seen me using it when I was working in the dark at the shop in Colton, but I picked up this pretty bad light. You can plug it in and use it, or you can use it with your battery. So it's a cool light. It's really bright. It's really strong. Batteries don't last that long. Um, it's got USB ports on it. Uh, and the really cool part about it is that you can use it with a plug. So if you if you plug it in, that thing will last forever. You know, you don't have to worry about using your batteries. That is a really cool feature about that. And then you can plug it in. You can charge your phone. You can charge anything else that has USB ports. But... That being said, I've been talking too long. Hope I'm not boring you guys because the video's but the video's over now. Hope, you, like I said earlier, I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and to ring that bell. Until next time, keep on keeping on. Power Stroke Jude. Out.